Bang! Neves Knives. I'm Jared, and this is Great Budget Knives. All the knives on this list will be under $50, or $50 or under. Many of them, far less than that, and you can find them all linked in the description. Now, this is the CJRB Malaya. It comes in multiple different colors. It's only around like $35. Bucks. Deep carry clip. Amazing action, and it is a little compact knife, but very, very fidgety and it does use um, CJRB's ARRPM9 proprietary steel. So let's get to the next one. Kubi Carve. The Kubi Carve is an amazing Tonto. Nice big finger choil. You can get up nice and close to the blade. I like how the Tonto up sweeps. You can really use that Tonto for light duty scraping, possibly very light duty prying. It's not a hard use knife, so you want to be careful with that. The Ergos are amazing on this. Nice deep carry clip. It's actually pretty comfortable in the hand considering it's a deep carry clip. The action is really, really good. The deep tent is very well tuned and you can use that fuller to reverse flick off of d2 g10 and most of the knives on this list will come in different options next we have a cabela's 440c so cabela's does make some pretty nice knives now i was surprised when i got this one that this is only a 20 dollar knife $20, it is riding on bearings. It does have a deep carry clip. The G10 is contoured and multicolored, and the detent is extremely well tuned. Um, the 440C seems to be pretty done pretty well. Um, it is a recurved drop point blade, and the ergos are pretty nice but yeah this one was very surprising to me the the detent for the thumb studs are really nice or for the flipping action um just a, for 20 bucks man it's hard to beat next we got another cjrb the cjrb feldspar now this comes in this version and many many others even a small version they have a mini version it's the exact same just a very small version deep carry clip that does have the flat screws and is in set. This one is the D2 version, which is gonna be the most budget friendly version around, it's under 40 bucks, like 35 bucks, something like that. But yeah, awesome, awesome knife. Great detent, great action, good access to the lock bar. Uh, very easy to deploy and use and just a solid built knife. Next, now this one's an oldie, but everybody knows the Rat 1. Now you can get it in a more upgraded steel. This one is the Aus 8 version. Beautiful flat ground blade. It does have amazing cutting geometry. And the ergos are really nice. Um, you do have this little section right there to stop you from slipping up the blade. But if you do want to get up nice and close, you can. Good access to the lock bar. This is on phosphor bronze washers. So um, it's not going to be as uh, false shutty as some ball bearing pivot knives but it's still incredibly smooth and the action on the thumb studs are real easy to use non deep carry clip um green i think these are frn it's not g10 but it feels like g10 and the build construction mine's missing a screw and a backspacer right there but when that backspacer is there you can see there is a lot of them this the build strength on these is insane reversible pocket clip all the way around tip up tip down and the stop pin is very robust this is definitely a hard use work knife for sure i've seen those things beat all the hell and still come out on top next the best tech war wolf so this is about 42 dollars i think it is amazing flipping action i can't express how good a flipping action it how good the flipping action is on this the detent is very well tuned and the flipper tab is very comfortable we do have a spear point blade and d2 steel you're gonna have really good ergos and blade shape for utility cuts while also having 
very comfortable grip the ergos are just amazing for your push cuts and slicing the action and the or the access to the lock bar is really nice on the action very very smooth on the drop shut it is on ceramic ball bearings so incredibly smooth not a deep carry clip so in the hand it winds up being super duper comfortable yeah the warwolf is an awesome awesome knife next some ganzos the ganzo fh11 and the fh12 because the 12 and the 13 are the stainless steel models um the, one of them is like this and then the 13 is a blacked out version so it's just uh you know um more of a darker gray or a black version this is in d2 and this is one of the most fall shut knives you will ever see i mean it, it is a it is a guillotine 100 percent while still being rock solid no play any direction good lockup the flipping action is amazing very well tuned it is just a straightforward knife d2 steel and the ergos are really nice deep carry clip um i can't express how smooth this thing is and i've had this one for a while so and these things are like 30 bucks so we're somewhere around there don't quote me on that exact price but the g10 version is a liner lock and is also extremely extremely smooth very well tuned detent i do like the stainless steel version just a little bit more i did do a video and i said i like this one more but i changed my mind i like the stainless steel one just a little bit better now this one we did do this mod to it it originally came like this with just a, a stone washed or a satin blade and i uh, etched it and did a little pattern on it it looks kind of cool but it is d2 so um deep carry clip we also um flamed this so there are some mods done to this but awesome awesome budget buy and then sticking with the ganzos we have the ganzo f756 access lock awesome awesome knife this thing is a beast and i've had this thing for a very long time i've done construction with it i've i've really really hard used it you can really see how i've just had so much steel removed from it it's yeah it's definitely done its work and for the price i think it was around 20 dollars for this knife <laughs> You can't beat it. 440C, it is a uh, stone washed blade um, and an access style lock that is very, very strong. I've never broken an Omega spring on here. It's, man, it's just an awesome knife. Phosphor bronze washers on the pivot. Um, I believe it might be phosphor bronze and Teflon, or maybe it is both phosphor bronze. It might be two phosphor bronze. I don't remember, but either way, very smooth. Nice, robust stop pin. This thing is about as tough as you can get for the $20 mark. Awesome, awesome knife. Next, we have the Miguron Valona. Now, I just recently did a full review on this on their DC-53 Steel. It is a basically a harder version of D2. Um, a little different, but... Um, it was my first time experiencing the steel. It did take an incredibly sharp edge, very drop shutty, nice tuned detent, but I did have to increase the detent on this. So the detent was a little light from the factory. Also, this one might be sold out right now, but they do have a 3.5 version coming because this is almost four inch blade and these are very affordable. So this is an awesome knife. Even if you do have to take it apart and tune the detent a little bit, regardless, even just the way it came, you know, it, it's a great purchase. Titanium milled pocket clip, T8 hardware, which is really nice. Nice, beautiful uh, bronze pivot and Nice fuller for the reverse flicking action. Next. QSP Penguin. Everybody knows about this knife. Man, 
Great, great little EDC knife. This one is the one on Foster Bronze washers. I think it's Foster Bronze and Teflon. Super smooth. The thumb stud action is incredible. They do have other versions of this for a little bit more money, but this is the most aff affordable. Uh, very, very well done denim micarta. And there are, like I said, there's so many versions of this. So um, if you wanted to get it in titanium or if you wanted to get it in uh, copper or bronze or whatever, there's so many different versions. Deep carry clip. And also there's other versions of the steel. This is the D2 version. I think they have a 154 CM version and uh, possibly an S35 EN version as well. Amazing thumb stud action. And it's just a great size knife for a small compact knife. You can get a full grip that's very comfortable. The clip works well, easy access to the lock bar. And yeah, solid, solid little knife. Next. The Rake D1, was it D191? This is an 8CR 13 MOV, but I will say this for the 8CR, I love this knife. I think this is a great, great buy. It is 8CR, but it's only like 25 bucks. I think it's 24 bucks. The flipping action is amazing and it only gets better and better. And it's on needle bearings. Imagine that, a $24 knife on needle bearings. That's crazy. The action is very, very good. And like I said, it only gets better and better. Um, I know usually that's the way it goes for more ball bearing pivots, not really needle bearings, but this thing just got smoother and smoother. I think it was just the detent really breaking in, but not now it is very glassy smooth stainless steel frame lock non-deep carry clip so it winds up being extremely comfortable in the hand it is a full size knife so this is not a small knife but is very slim so it winds up being very easy to carry very slicey um, the steel felt really good on the stone took a very very sharp edge and yeah Awesome, awesome knife. This one, it's probably my favorite 8CR knife, at least in my collection. Next, one of my favorite, possibly, well, yeah, one of my favorite knives on this list. Um, I think this is possibly one of the better knives you could get for the money. This is the Sencut Actium. The detent is so well tuned, and you got to remember, Sencut is a budget line from Wee Knives, and Wee Knives makes incredible, incredible knives. So you can only expect that their budget knives are no different. The detent is so good on this. The action and the drop, it's super smooth. It is on ceramic caged bearings, ceramic detent ball, G10, deep carry clip, T8 hardware, so the build strength and build quality is really good. Super thin, hollow ground, drop point blade, almost like a harpoon, but basically a drop point blade. It gets very thin behind the edge. This thing is super thin. A nice finger choil, and it just has all the things for a knife that's going to have a lot of longevity. So you're going to get your, you know, you're going to get a lot of use out of this, and it's going to look good for a long time. Next, some more Sen Cut knives really quick. We have the Sen Cut Snap and the Sen Cut Episode. Both great knives. Um, I, I did a quick uh, five fast on these. Um, I do prefer this one um, just because of the access to the lock bars a lot easier. This one is a little tight to get to the lock bar but it is extremely smooth the flipping action is amazing these are going to be slightly more robust than the actium because they are flat grinds but very very awesome knives and that is the biggest difference is that um you know besides like the thumb studs and everything but this one these are flat grinds and then this is a nice very thin hollow grind for the money i like the actium better than both of these but these are still great great options very solid knives and they are built by sun cut so st you're still going to get the t8 construction the amazing well-tuned d10s very nice g10 deep carry clips you know just phew, Probably the best budget knives on the market are made by Wii. They're very hard to beat. 
Just a couple more, uh, well, a few more. Um, we have another Migaron knife. Now, I recently did the full review on this one. This is the Acri, and amazing front flipper. Um, I do believe they are sold out at the moment, but they are coming very, very soon, so no worries on that. Beautiful G10 gold liners or, you know, gold colored liners. Front flipping action is incredible. I mean, this thing is very easy to front flip titanium milled pocket clip and this one is in the dc 53 steel like the um the other migaron we were checking out and the uh the jimping on the front flipper is very very nice exactly the type of jimping you want on a front flipper i can even do it left-handed without a problem and i am not left-handed let's get to the next one one of my favorite users the Civivi Picaro. Now, this one is at the $50 mark. So, it is about 50 bucks with tax. It might be $52, something like that. But, I had to put it on this list because it's such a great knife for the $50 mark. The thumb stud action is amazing. It is on phosphor bronze, so it's not going to be ball bearing false shut action. Beautiful reverse flicking action. And it is still smooth. With any influence, I can drop it straight down. I mean, it's very very smooth deep carry clip this is like a nine inch knife though so this is not a small knife full size knife but super slicey very thin blade stock very thin behind the edge it is a nice deep hollow ground blade love the blade shape love the sharpening choil easy access to the liner just an all-around great user i mean it's hard to beat this one when it comes to use t8 hardware deep carry clip might have said that already. G10, awesome knife. All right. Next, we have the Civivi McKenna. Or, sorry, McKenna. Huh? The Civivi Elementum. Sorry. The Civivi Elementum. Now, this one's right at 50 bucks as well. So, there are so many different versions available. This is the D2 version. I switched my scales from the G10 to the Micarta. But for the G10 D2 version, it is only 50 bucks. Very solid little knife. Hollow ground, drop point blade. Very smooth ceramic bearings. Very false shutty awesome awesome knife love this knife and there's so many different versions available on this you can even get it in s35vn three more knives really quick these ones are brand new but holy cow do i love these knives this is the kubi ku122 and it is absolutely amazing the flipping action or the the thumb flick or the reverse flick is so good the tip on this thing is very very thin it's very slicey it's going to be a great user for so many people i'm still testing it for review but i can already tell from all three of these models that i love them i love them love them love them next we have the ku321 and this thing the detent is so well tuned listen to the detent on this or not the detent sorry the lockup the detent is also really nice. It's very snappy, very strong detent, but easy to reverse flick. Good top flipper, very, very snappy. We have D2. Um, the, all of these three have D2. Um, you can use it left-handed as well. Man, the sound of this thing is amazing. Deep carry pocket clip, um, easy access to the lock bar, very, very solid. And this is a medium size knife. It's not a big knife, three inch blade. Now this next one is a full size knife and whew, this thing's pretty awesome guys. Um, yeah, very awesome. D2 steel, very, very amazing. Just the, the action on this thing is, it's stupid. It's so good. It's stupid. We have a deep carry pocket clip and um, like I said, it is in D2. You can thumb flick it really good. Beautiful stone washing. A lot of people say this looks like a bu budget Koenega Arius. Um, great G10 that is very grippy. T8 hardware. T10 pivot. Yep, T10 pivot. Solid as can be. I mean, just rock solid. Um, does have a stop pin right there. And then it has a shouldered lockup. 
action is so good. The lockup is so solid. A very solid knife right here. This would make one heck of a work knife. And the flipper tab is so, it's so high above the pivot that you have so much leverage. This thing is very hard to fail. I mean, it is incredible flipping action. Very, very solid. And yeah, it, it's hard to beat. All right, guys, there you guys go. I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.